Hi, and welcome back to NCTV's tutorial on how to use Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud. In the last tutorial, we showed you how to sync multiple cameras to prepare for multicam editing. I'll briefly go over how to nest your clips once more before showing you how to multicam edit. I'm just going to bring in each clip individually. Now, I've already set the endpoints on these, so you'll see that I already have the endpoints set. So just drag that in, put it over there. I'm just going to bring that down. And you'll see that uh, I don't want to overwrite anything and I'm running out of room. So instead of bringing that in and potentially overwriting something, I'm just going to make my timeline bigger and then bring it in. And you'll see there's the endpoint that's set right there. There we go. And they're all organized. So as I play, you can hear that it's synced up. So since I've only set the endpoints so that they're in sync, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab them all and drag them over. I'm just going to extend each clip to its full life. And that way I know that I have uh, as much of the clip as possible to work with. I can trim it later, but um, for now we're just going to do this. So once you have all of your clips lined up and, and the audio is synced up, all you have to do is just marquee downward right click and go to nest. We're going to call this introductions. And there it is. And you'll see that it created another sequence over here um, by whatever name that we've called it. So if I double click introductions, uh, I'm right back to here where I can work on every individual clip. So if I was like a frame or two off, I can still grab these, move them and, and fix my sync. And then when I go into the nested sequence, it'll all be fixed. I'm just going to undo that to make sure that we don't ruin our sync. And um, so here we go. And then, you know, you, you'll see that the audio is still independent, so you can still mute or solo or whatever you want. Now, in order to just get the multicam going, all we have to do is click this wrench right here and then go to multi camera. And now I just right click down here, go to multi camera, and go to enable. And now I can see all three of my cameras right here. And as I play, it's playing all of them at once. And if I'm playing in real time and I want to go to this camera, all I have to do is click it. And then if I want to go to another camera, I just click that. And then maybe I want to come to this camera. And then maybe I'll come back to here. And then when I stop, and I click into my timeline and zoom in, it's made all of those cuts for me. And if I'm a few frames off or I don't like what I did, I can simply use my rolling edit tool, which is right here, shortcut N, and I can go to where the cut happens. So from here to here, and I can move that cut. So it'll extend one and it'll shorten the other. And it's a way to quickly go through and really clean up your edits so that all your cuts are where you want them to be. So it's only when you're playing does it make those cuts. If I just wanted to change this camera, because I haven't edited afterwards, if I just want to change this from camera three to say camera one, all I do is click it and it's, it's manipulated it in my timeline here then. I can even physically just cut it and then I can change this camera here. So you don't have to edit in real time. You can just go through, make your cuts manually and then adjust your cameras from there. So that's all we're gonna cover in this tutorial. Now you know how to work with multiple cameras in a single timeline.